Neighbors who have gone to the Wakulla Springs for years say they've noticed a change in the water. I'm Kenzie Krieger at the Springs with a look at what researchers are finding. Water quality. That's what the Spring Watch is monitoring at Wakulla Springs. We're all concerned and, and want to make sure that it's here for our children and our grandchildren. It's a group of researchers and volunteers that have been testing the water for over 15 years. While researching the water, David Shepard noticed factors impacting water quality. We've got to find a way to limit uh, pollution, agricultural pollution and pollution from uh, septic runoffs and there's other threats. By boat, the Spring Watch evaluates the water, then takes it to a lab for further testing. One thing they've noticed is the color. We're seeing a great increase in color, and uh, we also are seeing an increase in flow, and a lot of that seems to be climate change with sea level rise. Sean McGlynn has a PhD in aquatic biology and is involved in the research. He says they've noticed rising sea levels, and it's impacting wildlife and the water. And that water seems to be coming here, but it's not really salt water, so we have, it's quite mysterious where the water is coming from. With the water coming in, they found marine species in the springs. Sheep's head are sometimes found here, but, but they're always here when it's salty. And we're getting uh, blue crabs at times, but they're all dead now. And then they're, when, they, when it gets fresh again, they die. McGlynn says it can be hard for fresh and saltwater species to survive in both conditions, but these factors have brought marine life such as manatees. This could be due to saltwater influences, and we're seeing great changes, and we're seeing manatees come, and that's a good thing, so it's not all bad. This research is ongoing, and the group tests the waters weekly, then sends it to DEP. At the Wakulla Springs, Kenzie Krieger, ABC 27.